Let's Brew tonight, sponsored by Sphinx, making life easier. Be sure to use your extras card when you're filling up on those spring adventures. We're starting tonight with a golf shot that yes. the entire it's, world is talking about. It's the master's about. time. I so. know. <laughs> Take a look at this. So this is Gary Nicholas. He's Jack Nichols, Nich Nicholas's grandson. Mm -hmm. And he aces the ninth hole of the master's par three contest with, get it, a hole, a in, hole one. in one. So his pedigree, he obviously has the pedigree with Mr. Nicholas. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he's had a, a lesson or two. He's had a couple lessons. So the crowd went wild, of course, over any ah, hole it's in so one. But cool. I mean, I fantastic. love watching a hole in one. And so. watch Grandpa. I think Grandpa's going to come in there. <laughs> nice. He's proud. He knows, him well. he knows that it's not it's not easy. It's not easy, but that's just a really awesome shot. Like I don't even get into golf, and of course, yeah. I, and that's like blasphemy in this area with the Masters being you know so big and so popular. Well, when you know, I'm not really a golf person either, but I was lucky enough to go and to it the was, Masters. Yes, it was incredible. I mean, it's just you don't see golf courses right. that immaculate, so there's a sense of awe when you're and walking and around. And obviously, there's a tradition there, and that you know people, it's it's the top of the top. Yeah, and, and they it. they don't let you talk about certain. You know, you can't. You have to be quiet. You have to be very well behaved. You stuff those sandwiches in yeah. your pocket. They're, they're probably so going good. to cut down on <laughs> selfies, like a story we're going to be telling you about in, in a little bit. So, congratulations to him. That's just something cool, very cool, cool to watch. Something that is a little eerie to watch: two Australian police officers had a close call with a great white shark while on patrol in a dinghy last Saturday. Police said, "Take a look at this." So they're decide, you know, patrolling around, and then this guy oh comes underneath gosh. their dinghy. That's crazy. I would Look have at how that. huge that shark is. Do we know how big that was? I have no idea, but a, it's a great white, so that yeah. gives you a little indication about how you know the size of it. Do you ever keep up with the great whites that are around our area? I don't. There's a I just few don't get that, in the water. Yeah, there's a few around the Charleston area that I like to keep my eye on. Just like that woman that made that viral video that says, you went into the shark's house. <laughs> you went into their house. You went That's swimming. right. It's and your fault. It's, kind of, it's your fault. So I, I, went, I was at Folly last weekend, and mm -hmm. I didn't get in the water. I just looked at it. My friend always says, it's feeding time, guys, exactly. when it gets 5 o'clock. And everyone's like, let's go swimming. Yeah. So you'll see me underneath the, no thanks. underneath the pier in my hammock or sitting on the beach with a nice little cocktail. Same for me, too. I don't mm -hmm. like to get in there. Safe and sound. OK, so this is a story that it just, it's just bizarre. Pizza yeah. Hut sent a woman free pizza after she got dumped and ghosted. And for some people who don't know what ghosted is, it's like you've been talking to someone, you've been chatting, and then all of a sudden they're nowhere to be found. So this girl, <laughs> Rosie, I guess, got dumped and ghosted. And she says, I never loved the social media publicity stunt more. Pizza is my partner now, and I accept any, all the free stuff. Because Pizza Hut sent this woman a lady, uh, e email saying, or a tweet saying, we, feel we, we got you. you, girl. We got you. We got some things that can help That's you feel a little nice, bit better. But, it's nice. I mean, how do they pick who they... <laughs> have all that empathy for it. I don't know. I guess maybe uh, she got some responses on there and I already had like so. a little bit of a following. Well, so I people, hope she finds love. Even if it is in a, a deep dish pizza. That's right. That's where you, That's find, where it, you right? find it. <laughs> okay, so Justin Timberlake, I can never get enough of Justin Timberlake and he just makes you like him even more at his <laughs> latest concert where he helped a woman uh, announce her pregnancy. He stopped yeah. the concert and helped her because he saw her in the stands holding a sign that said, will you help me announce my pregnancy? So he... So, how can you say no to He that? did the thing. I just love Justin Timberlake. I know. He can do no wrong, in my in my opinion. And have you heard that He's new song with performer. him and, Just, and um, Chris Stapleton? Nope. It's my jam. Go, li go look it up right now. Thank you so much, <laughs> Jennifer, you. for being here.